Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about this lovely little gem of a pen. Which is this pen, you may ask? Well, it's the other pen that I bought from Daiso last time I was there. Because when you see fountain pens and you're a little bit of an addict, of course you're going to buy everything that a shop has. You're going to walk out and pretty much blow all your money. It's, it's like gambling. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Um... Of course, I'm gonna buy every single one of their pens. So this is the other pen that I bought. And of course, because it's from Daiso, it's gonna cost $2.80. Now, the other pen, the Platinum Revere, is made by Platinum. But this one, it looks like it's gonna be in-house, or at least they got someone to manufacture it for them. And considering that they're not a fountain pen brand, they actually did quite a good job for this one. Um, I really got to say, for $2.80, and the fact that I don't have to wait the agonizing months to get it shipped over from China, and 60 cents, you can't even buy, can't even send it FedEx, you know? Um, I get off track way too often. Anyway, the pen. Um, so we're greeted with this lovely body. So, first impressions, it's all right. It doesn't feel flimsy. It feels like a really hard um, plastic. I don't think it's metal. It seems like a really hard uh, plastic, which is all right. Um, take the cap off. We're greeted with this really thin section. It's probably the same size as the Pilot 78G or maybe Waterman Hemisphere. It's really small. Um, however, well, as you guys might know, I don't like small sections. However, this one is pretty comfortable, um, which is surprising. It's not the best grip ever, but it's not awful. I can write with this one. In terms of length, it's long enough. However, you can post it, and posting isn't exactly secure. This is on maximum, well, as far as it will go, and you get quite a lot of wobble. But that's not the biggest complaint I have. If you look at, wow, this is overexposing, one second. If you look here where it posts, there's quite a big step down from the cap and body. And believe me, um, as your hand rubs up and down it, it is incredibly uncomfortable after a while. And after a while, you can probably just force the cap back a little bit, push the cap down quite a lot. It doesn't take much force or wobbling to um, push the cap back off, which is pretty annoying. Um, if we have a look at the nib, it's a pretty small nib. We'll get into the specifics in a minute, but it's not the biggest nib in the world. So you will have to hold this pen at a somewhat high angle. Um, if we take the pen off, you'll see that um, it uses plastic threads, which I'm not the biggest fan of. And honestly, they're not exactly substantial. Um, I would have thought that if I did sit on this pen, it would either A, go up my ass, or B, um, it would crack, which is awful in both uh, situations. So I don't want either, want either one of those situations to happen. So point being, don't ever sit on this fountain pen. Um, which is a bit of a shame because if you do look at this it is metal Well, it's metal which means that well um, This bit is built incredibly robustly this one not so much seriously There are so many fountain pens out there that are really well made However, the threadings just let it down so much which is such a shame um, also the uh, cartridges that you will be able to use. Um, you're only gonna be able to use the small standard international ones. I've tried using the Jinhao converters and they will not fit in here, which is pretty sad. So, well, I use sad loosely. It's pretty annoying. God, sad, that's just, ugh. Anyway, let's just talk about the nib. Um, so the nib, it's small, I don't know, it's maybe a number four, Four size nib, number five size nib, it's not that big. I could compare it to, say, a Pilot Metropolitan or oh, I have a Pilot, um, is it a Plumix? Yeah, Pilot Penmanship. And this is the Penmanship, and they're very similar sizes. This one is a medium nib, 
and I gotta say for a mass production nib, it's pretty smooth. Not so smooth that it's baby's bottom or anything, but it is really, really smooth. Um, that being said, this nib is stiff as, uh, stiff as wood. Why not? <laughs> uh, just, just think of anything that's stiff, because this nib is stiff. Um, you won't get any flexibility out of this nib, which I'll show you on the writing sample. Um, however, that being said, that's not a bad thing, because this pen is incredibly wet, and when you combine really smooth nib with a wet nib and stiff nib, it means you can write incredibly fast, and that's something that's pretty good with this pen. You can write incredibly fast with this pen, and because it's smooth, it will feel really, really nice. The only downside is, because you're only limited to using these small standard international cartridges, because nothing else that I've used will fit, you're gonna go through these really, really quickly. Seriously, I use this 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 size cartridge and it emptied itself out in a day, which is well, that's pretty annoying. Anyway, let's get on to a writing sample there now. All right, here we go. Lovely writing sample. So we have the Daiso fountain pen. This is a medium nib, and I believe these will only come with a medium nib. The ink that we have is just um, and a standard international blue, so... Blue, and I don't know if it's just this one, but this one looks really washed out. The blues look like they're washed out with water. It's They're not good. The ones that come with this one, because... You'll get um, ones from Daiso, and they'll come in a pack of four, four for two dollars eighty, and they aren't that good. They look really washed out, so you might want to go buy them off eBay or get them from another company that supplies standard international ones because these ones aren't good. Anyway, let's start with another pangram. I'm not going to use the quick brown fox. I'm going to use another one. Um, pangram, for those of you who don't know, they're sentences that contain all letters of the alphabet. Anyway. Anyway, um, this one will very consistent um, ink flow, and there is quite a lot of it. Um, this one does dry out pretty quickly, but I can promise you that there is quite a lot of ink flow. There's no way that this is going to hard start, and there's no way that it's going to skip. Um, if we just judge wetness, it is incredibly wet. That's pretty good, and it's pretty consistent. Um, in terms of um, line width, it looks like a standard Japanese medium. This is with no pressure, and this is with full pressure. So yes, there is a little bit of line variation that you're going to get, but it's nothing, nothing to rave about. Um, just slowly building up pressure. And when you build up pressure, you're going to get quite a lot of ink flow. So there is a little bit to be gained, but not all that much. Um, in terms of natural line variation, you're not going to get much there. It's pretty much the same. Um, and reverse writing... It's all right, it looks like a medium nib, sort of, but uh, the ink flow is not amazing and it is somewhat scratchy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review um, of the Daiso pen for $2.80. They're pretty nice.